One of my big critiques of German policy has been that the, 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 both this government and your, and your previous government have failed to educate the German people about what is at stake in Afghanistan. There has been very little transparency by any of your governments, unfortunately, vis-a-vis -vis the media, vis-a-vis -vis the public, vis-a-vis -vis educating the public. Now, I know there's a lot of opposition to the German troops in Afghanistan, but I, I, I believe that part of that opposition is due to the fact that people are ignorant of the facts, they're ignorant of the reality, they're ignorant of the threat that um, uh, 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 Al-Qaeda and the Taliban pose to Germany itself. And if the government did a better job of, of giving the picture and the true picture of what is going on, I think it would be um, more beneficial. I think the other problem you faced was that unfortunately when this took place, and I, I must pay tribute here to, to Justice Fischer, because um, I think he did a, a, a great job in Yugoslavia, and um, whether you like it or not, he took up, up, up the Germans into Afghanistan also. Um, but unfortunately, there was a trade-off at that time. And that trade-off was that the Germans weren't going to Iraq, but they were going to Afghanistan. And I think in the public imagination in Germany, somehow, the, the fact that the Germans were acting somehow on the American order or the American request, which showed a kind of slavish mentality of the German government towards the Americans. I think that has stuck. And I think it is essential that the German government de-link itself, de-link itself from this commitment to um, the Americans. The Germans should be in Afghanistan for their own national security, for their own national interests. For the fact that they face a terrorist threat from Afghanistan as much as anyone else in Europe does. I'm not one of those who will tell you today that you should all go south, that you should all go to Kandahar and you should fight the war that the British are fighting and the Dutch and the Canadians are fighting in Alman and Kandahar. But I will tell you that I think you need to do much more in the north that you are not doing. The north now has Taliban bases. You are being attacked in the north. Now, there are several things that are happening in the North, which unfortunately, uh, really, uh, the German troop presence, which are now about to increase by another thousand, maybe, um, are not doing. The first thing I would say is that um, you need to do a better job in, in four or five different things. There is no interdiction of drugs by the German forces in the North. In interdiction, I mean stopping the convoys. <coughs> I don't mean eradication, upsetting the farmers, uh, getting involved. I mean just stopping the convoys. Because you are sitting on the biggest export route, which is from northern Afghanistan into Central Asia, which then goes to Moscow and then comes into Europe through Eastern Europe. There is a, a build-up of Taliban capacity in the North, but the Germans are not going on the offensive. Now, this could lead to a real crisis for you. Because if you're not willing to go on the offensive, then what is going to happen, God forbid, if there's a major attack on a German camp or a major ambush, what, are you going to ask American troops to come and bail out the Germans? How is this going to look? This is going to look even worse, domestically and internationally. So I think, you, you, you know, I think there has to be much more aggressive patrolling. There has to be a much greater troop presence on the ground. Unfortunately, at the moment, there's too much of a kind of bunkering down of German troops um, uh, in the north. The third, uh, the third issue is that there is a wave of crime, abductions, rape, murder going on in the, south, in the north. Now, I think the Germans would do much better at trying to help resolve, strengthen local government capacity. Some of it is being done, but not enough. You need German mentors with the police, with the Afghan army, with the, um, with the local bureaucracy. Um, with the local judiciary system. So, but those German mentors have to be protected by troops on the ground. So the troops have to be out there rather than inside um, the barracks. You need much more German involvement in bringing Afghans together to resolve local problems. If, if Germany is going to send another 1,000 troops under the same restrictions that these troops are operating already, I think, frankly, it's a waste of effort. I mean, don't, you know, don't waste your time, don't waste your effort. Um, if the German troops are going to go under a lifting of some of these caveats and restrictions, for them to operate more freely in the North, to be more productive in the North, to resolve local problems, to deal with issues on the ground, then I think it is important that more German troops go.